So what brought you to stairs? I was living in the uh, in the vicinity of stairs, and it was quite convenient for me to uh, to walk. And when was that? That would have been in 1956. And so that wasn't actually that building, was it? Oh no, it was the old church. The one across the street? Yes, it was. Okay. And Dr. Aitken was the minister at that time. Right. And they had an evening service so that uh, I went to the evening service. And what was so special about the evening service? They had a lovely hymn sing. Ah, okay. I really enjoyed that. It was all the old hymns. Okay. Which I like to sing. All right. <clears throat> so what is your favorite hymn and why? Gosh, that's a hard question, huh? Uh, right now, I like... Uh, I'd have to think about that. I like it in the garden, but that's really not a hymn. The one where I come to the garden alone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Often sung at funerals. Pardon me? Often sung at funerals. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. And years ago, I had to made a tape when we had CDs, and I wish I could find it, because I had made a tape of myself singing. Oh, really? And yes, it was I had no accompaniment, but I just sang it and made a tape, and it was quite nice. And and why, why did you like that hymn so much? Well, it was sung a lot at that time. Okay. And it was an older hymn that you heard sung a lot. Okay. Do you have a, a favorite Bible passage? No, I can't say that I do. No, so if 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 uh, if I was uh, visiting with Charlene and we were planning your funeral. Knock on wood, God forbid, and all that other stuff. Yeah, when you're my age, <laughs> yeah. you never know. Um, um, and I, I, uh, I was asking her, what do you think your mom would want to have read at her funeral? What do you think she would say? Uh, well, there's a long chapter in John that uh, you hear a lot at funerals, and I remember learning it in Sunday school. We used to learn a lot of uh, uh, all of the Beatitudes and the Commandments. And, uh, uh, but offhand, uh, I really don't know. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What's giving you hope right now? Pardon me? What's bringing you hope right now? Well, I hope this COVID-19 clears up soon. And in the midst of that, what's giving you hope? Well, I hope that the world situation will be a little bit better. People will get along better with one another. Okay. And what's bringing you joy? What's bringing me joy? <laughs> well, I'm thankful that my health is so good, and of course my biggest enjoyment, I guess, is being at my cottage and being able to go canoeing and boating, and uh, that's my biggest joy in life right now, I guess. I think that's awesome. Where is your cottage? It's on Lake Charlotte.
And where? Which is on the eastern shore. Oh, yes, Lake Charlotte. I know where that is. Nice. And what are you most proud of? What are you most proud of? Well, I guess I'm proud of my longevity. And uh, uh, I have two sisters. One is 93, the other 97, and I'm 100. And I'm very proud of that longevity. Anything else? I'm proud that I'm able to uh, uh, do all the things I can do mm -hmm. and live alone and be quite independent and I'm thankful for my uh, sensitivity beyond anything I guess. And if you had had one sentence to say to the people at stairs what would it be? One sentence. Yeah. I think they're the most caring people, and uh, it's uh, it's a wonderful congregation to belong to. Okay. It's like a big family. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much.